committee members, the next item on today's agenda will be House Bill 1736 by Representative Blake. Representative Blake, you're recognized to present House Bill 1736. Anyone in the audience that wants to speak for or against this bill, there's a sign-up sheet there at the end of the table by Representative Blake. I have one here, but look. You've already signed up. This one will suffice. If not, you need to sign up to the table. Representative Blake, you're recognized. Thank you, Chairman Tosh. Uh, colleagues, today I bring you a bipartisan bill. A uh, bill with Republican and Democratic sponsor. A bill that's supported by the governor. Um, and a bill that can, can unite and move our state forward <laughs> together. Uh, as, as the first bill, this bill does two things. First, it clarifies when Arkansas was admitted to the Union State Code. Uh, as you can see on the second, on page two, line 28, the new language will actually state that the, that the two, the two states, Arkansas and Michigan, and Michigan, were admitted within just months of each other. Uh, Arkansas on June 15, 1836, and Michigan on January 26, 1837. Uh, while both states' acts of admission were signed by President Andrew Jackson on January 15, 1836, Arkansas became state uh, right away, but Michigan was offered admission only on condition of seating the 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 strip the Toledo strip uh, to Ohio in exchange for uh, their their statesmanship. So um, uh, once it happened, if they were finally admitted on January 26, 1837. The second change is to repurpose the blue star above the word Arkansas to commemorate the United States of America, and the three stars below the word Arkansas would uh, stand for France, Spain, and the qualify all states. Cato tribes and the native uh, uh, the native of American nations that were here uh, first. Uh, the star that currently commemorates the Confederate States uh, will will be repurposed. So putting putting the star, um, I listened to to Representative House. He made a valid point. Uh, putting the the star for the United States of America above our our state name in a prominent position on our state flag is appropriate and necessary. Uh, we should honor our nation on our state's largest symbol and respect our nation. Why should we, why should we again, why should we recognize Native American history? Uh, as you can read in, in legislative findings of the bill, um, the, some of the history and, and contributions of, of Native American nations, um, every, as I said earlier, the Quapaw, the Osage, the, the Caddo, the, the Tunica, the Chickasaw, and, and many other na uh, Native American nations were, uh, were here and, and have a rich history instead of Arkansas. I believe that for far too long, the heritage and culture of our Native American tribes and nations have, that have contributed to the history of the state have been overlooked. Uh, this bill will allow, allow for the recognition, the recognition of the first Arkansas to be honored on our state flag, just as the other nations who controlled our state were. Uh, this, this bill can be a course, course a correction and an inclusive effort to correct the history that, is, that has been rewritten. Uh, the Native American nations that have contributed to the state continue to contribute to the state and, and should be acknowledged and honored by all our Kansas every day. Secondly, as I stated, I believe that the context of why and when this star was added is important. Um, just a brief history, on February 26, 19, 1913, the General Assembly adopted a design as the state flag's official flag that contained three stars. The three blue stars in the center field bore several meeting, meetings first. That Arkansas had successfully belonged to three countries. This is in 1913. That Arkansas had successfully belonged to three countries, France, Spain, and the United States. So in 1913, they, they, that first flag, they recognized three countries. France, Spain, and the United States. Uh, there, there are also means dealing with the, with the Louisiana Purchase and, and how the state was the third state that became a state from that purchase. Um, the, the flag was then redesigned in 1923 when the General Assembly added a fourth star uh, in, in, in the center of the diamond that represented Arkansas's membership in the Confederate States of America. That was in 1923. Uh, at first, the stars were arranged with two above and two below the state's name, but in the second extraordinary session of 1924, 
uh, three stars were placed below the three, the three original nations. France, Spain, the United States was placed below the, the state name. And the one star that stood for the Confederate States which was placed above the state name, adding new, new symbolism to our state flag. So why in 1924, 60 years after the Civil War, was this star added and placed in a prominent position of our state flag? Well, to truly understand, you have to think about what's happening in the state of Arkansas in 1924, 60 years after the Civil War. Five years after the race massacre of Elaine, uh, which is one of the bloodiest racial conflicts in, in the United States. Um, where hundreds of, of black people were killed. Um, there were reported around 22, there were 22 reported lynchings from 1919 to 1922. I mean, 1919 to 1924. So those are 22 reported lynchings. Um, and from 1922 to 1924, it, it, is, it is a known fact that the Ku Klux Klan uh, became the most powerful arm of politics in the state of Arkansas. Um, the designation of the Confederate Star, which was added in 1923, uh, through a bill that was sponsored by Representative Neil uh, Bollinger. Um, I, I might be spelling it, I might be saying it wrong, but uh, I've, I took my son to see his picture up, up at the, uh, on, on the fourth floor, so it's, 19, it's, it's the 1923 uh, state legislator. He was, uh, he was from Little Rock, as I am, and uh, he was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. So he, he sponsored the bill in, in 1923. Um, as, my, as we stated earlier, the Klan was uh, at the height of his power during, during these, these periods. Uh, there is a, a professor at the University of Central Arkansas who's writing a, big, a book about the time period. He, he, he has reached out, he's reached out to me. Uh, many, many legislators and civic leaders were members of the Klan during that period. And then again in 1924 during, during a special legislative session, uh, again, it was sponsored uh, by the same representative to, to move the flag in, in, in its prominent position above the, the state of Arkansas. So, in understanding why the star was put there and when it was put there is important and it matters. Um, one could argue that the star was added to the flag not to honor the Confederate States of, of America, but to only honor the presence and prominence of white supremacy and terrorism in the state of Arkansas. Um, but we can fix that. We can fix that, what, what happened in 1923. We can fix what happened in 1924 with a simple change on paper. And you ask, why am I taking this effort? Why am I doing it like this? First and foremost, um, a lot of you should, should appreciate that this doesn't cost anything. This is simply changing the words and statute and correcting the mistake that was, was made almost a century ago. It's easy and it allows our state to move in a direction that is inclusive and honors our history and our heritage. Um, symbols matter, and our state flag is our largest symbol for our state. As, as I'm wearing the flag on my chest, um, I honor our state, I honor our flag, as many Arkansans do every day. Changing the state flag is not going to change history. Arkansas was a Confederate state. Arkansas was a Confederate state before 1923. Arkansas was a Confederate state before 1913. And Arkansas in history will be, will be known as a Confederate state after we repurpose this start. But as the governor has said, we should not honor rebellion on our state's largest symbol. So it's time to move forward. It's time to move our state forward, and it's, and it's time to do it together. And I'll, I'm open for questions. Committee voted the um, presentation by Representative Blake. Ms. House failed. Are there any questions from the committee members? Seeing none, I believe we have some folks signed up to speak for and against the bill. Mr. Andrew Waldron, are you are you in the room? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir, if you would, just have a seat at the end of the table. Please identify yourself and who you represent, and it's my understanding you're speaking for the bill. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, my name is Jeff Hall. I'm 